The first project that I started this year was the chicken coop. And uh, then we have the, the run on the front of the chicken coop. So, besides building the chicken coop, pretty much from scratch, and then building the chicken run, these are some of the, the features. Now we've got chickens, that's a feature. But got a couple chickens down here taking a dust bath. This is a a outdoor roost, a daytime roost that I created for them. The whole of the chicken run is covered. So that protects them from the elements and from predators. Here's Casey in all his glory. We'd be really lucky if he'd give us a cockadoodle do, but this isn't going to happen. I can tell. Here's their food and water, and center, that's some calcium and grits. Calcium helps to build strong eggs, should they ever decide to lay eggs. This is the lane boxes, or these are the lane boxes. Access is from inside. Those are not eggs from these chickens. Those are fake ceramic eggs. You put them in there so that they know where they're supposed to lay eggs and they know that this is a safe place to lay eggs. Then we have a, a ramp and a door to the coop. If you saw an earlier video, then you know that these carabiners are color-coded. Uh, green is for access to the run. So here on the outside of the run, there's a green one. And on the door to the chicken coop, there's two green ones. Because that's how the chickens get into the coop, or get into the run. This is uh, wire mesh, or sometimes called hardware cloth. Uh, it's much better than chicken wire. Now originally, this was not here. There's one on the other side. These are our wind brakes. Uh, to kind of protect the chickens from the wind or from the blowing rain or the blowing snow when the snow comes. Here you'll see the carabiner on the lane boxes is blue because that's what the color lane boxes are. Anyway, the one on this, the windbreak on the side protects the food and water also. The one on the other side uh, kind of protects where they come out of the chicken coop, the ramp and stuff. And so that's uh, that's good because if the snow gets to blowing, uh, it probably won't pile up as high right there where they come out. And that will encourage them to come out. Now, I changed the layout of the door here on on the access side. Originally, this was a single door that that here's where the the uh, 
hinges were. Anyway, that folded down, but it just didn't work out. It it wasn't it wasn't easy to get in. Uh, so what I did was I cut that door in half. The left side I've permanently secured. I know I need to to repaint all this. And then I created a door on this side. which this door will allow me to get in together with the the upper door. So, open this and see inside the chicken coop. Or I can open the top one. That is River, or River Tam. Uh, she, anytime I come over to the doors over here, she comes in and gets up here and, and looks at me. She won't, won't let me touch her, but she likes to do that. Over here is the access to the lane boxes. Little... Uh, I just put this bedding in, so some of it's kind of got on the on the uh, perch, if you will, to the to the lane boxes. Uh, anyway, they've got three three roost bars, and then a bunch of them like to get up on that that beam up there, which is actually a a structural beam, but there's enough space for some of the smaller ones to get up there, and they like to get up there. This is the usual configuration that I deal with the chickens and the chicken inside the chicken coop. And basically, that's just to look in on them from time to time. I'll just open the top door. Don't have to worry about them deciding that they need to come out through the bottom door. And I'll be standing right here, so they won't. They won't come through. Uh, they won't come through me to try and get outside. But this is is how I watch the chickens, and I'm sure hoping they'll get around to laying eggs sometime soon. Friday will be 20 weeks, so that seems like a good, goodly amount of time. What do you think, River? You want to lay some eggs? And you'll see that on this side, access to the chicken coop has got red carabiners. Now there's a few things I... I'm still going to do. Uh, I'm going to line all the edges with some uh, decorative stuff. Uh, I'm going to put some windows frames around the these windows, which if it really gets bad, if the wind is really bad, and I had to do this a couple times. I can put those inserts into the in there to uh, to block the wind. They're still there's still uh, there's still some ventilation getting in, but that's not ideal. That's just worst case scenario. Those windows I was just talking about uh, that are going to go around those uh, vent ports, I'm going to paint, they're, they're basically just going to be trim around them, like on that uh, vent up there. So, the big thing is, you'll notice that 
got metal roofing on the on the chicken coop. That color is called Tahoe Blue. And uh, if we go over here and we look at the cabin, we see that it too has got metal roofing and it's Tahoe Blue. And the trim around the windows is is white. I don't know, maybe there's a theme here. And as you can see, the basic shape of the cabin and the shape of the chicken coop are the same. That was something I wanted from the start. Was I wanted, I didn't want the slatted lean-to kind of chicken coop. I wanted it to be consistent with with the uh, the main building. And when I build the the uh, greenhouse, it's going to be a hoop house, but it's going to have about a four or five foot portion for storage and things like that, workbench, workplace, and it's going to also be the same, the same design. So that's that's the chicken coop. Uh, just one other thing you may note over there: there's a bunch of stuff covered with blue. Mostly that is stuff that we couldn't get moved over to Lone Moose's property so we, we covered it with with tarp and it will go through the winter just fine like that. So that's the chicken coop and uh, we're going to uh, go inside here in a minute and look at what what kinds of things have happened inside.